Hi friends. Um, I'll, one thing, you see me in this sweatshirt a lot when I edit. I'm like, oh, we're in the same sweatshirt. I put it on like, cause it's really cozy, but I only end up wearing it for like an hour. And right now I'm only gonna wear it for like 10 minutes when I'm driving over to my walk and then I'll put my jacket on and I'll take the jacket off and then I have to go to a scan. So I'll put it back on for the scan because it's warm and cozy. So I, <laughs> it does get washed, but I don't end up wearing it all day. It's just kind of my intermediary. Well, I don't know if that's even a word. Anyway, hello. How are you guys doing? I am kind of in back in that rut of like, I don't know what to film. I don't have anything that I'm doing that's interesting. <laughs> going for my walk. It is 9.15. I'm going to meet my friend up there. Um... I went walking yesterday, but I only had time for four miles. Today I'm hoping to get five or six miles in because I have time before my scan. Um, and then I have a scan and I won't be done with that until almost two. <laughs> and then my day is done. And this is what's been happening is that like I go for my walk and I run one or two errands and then like my day is almost done. And so Anyway, I'm gonna try and get you a video today. I am in short supply of videos. Um, so there might be a skip in a video just so that I can get into the next week. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna go for my walk. It is not supposed to be raining, so we shall see. It is cold and wet, but not raining. I am, oh, we're done with uh, cheer practices for Ashley's squad that I coach for. Um, because I <clears throat> I could coach alone, but the other coach went off to Nashville with her husband and she didn't want me to hold the responsibility of doing the practices alone and technically we are done with official games. We just have one playoff game and there's really nothing left to practice. So we do not have practice tonight, but Ashley has her other squads practice tonight. And so me and her friend's mom are, um, gonna coordinate a new schedule now to take the girls and pick them up and bring them home so that neither one of us have to do both because it doesn't make sense for both of us to drive two cities over to take our kid <laughs> to cheer um, so and then yesterday we actually met with that same mom I am in the official booster presidency for Ashley's competitive squad the one that is going to go to nationals in Vegas in January next year. And then we are also prepping to film their audition tape. Have I told you guys this? I've told you this. We are prepping to film their audition tape to perform at Disneyland in Paris 2026. So they are working hard at their practices to get ready and pristine for that video audition um, but I am the booster treasurer because Jason has a good understanding of finance as well as I do um, so we're we are working on the taxes and the business licensing and registration and we have to get it, our name put onto the, the bank account and we're working on all that but we met as a presidency yesterday went to lunch Jason joined us ladies and um, we came up with like a whole plan for the next year and a half um, between our competitions, our fundraisers. We have amazing fundraisers that we're gonna do. And then we have performances at games. So it's a lot, but these women that I get to work with are amazing and they're very organized and um, putting me down so that there's a car right next to me, so. But anyway, it was fun to um, meet with them yesterday for lunch, and we literally just outlined so many things. Um, we went to this restaurant called Masa, and it was Mexican food, and it was so good. I need to go there more often for like a quick lunch with Jason when we kind of want to have like a sit down meal, but not have it be like an expensive meal. Um, where's my friend? I always like to park next to her, but she's not here. Um, but I had a steak quesadilla, so I got my protein, and it was super good, and I was only able to eat half of it. And so I got to have it for dinner to, last night, too. Um, and Jason got like a, a, I don't even know what he got, an enchilada, I think. But my friend got 
uh, a tortellini soup and it looked so good. I was really, it was a toss up between those two. So I didn't film yesterday cause I wasn't gonna like, you know, those friends don't want to be on camera. So, um, but that's what we did yesterday and uh, have a good plan. Jason and I do need to work on our taxes and the information tonight, but um, we're kind of struggling because the previous booster president is not giving us the login and email <laughs> name for our state tax information. And we're like, we can't pay these taxes unless we get access to the account. So we're kind of frustrated, but it's due in two days. It's due on Halloween day. So that's where we're at. Um, Jason is back at work. He's feeling okay. It, it, these little bouts of him getting sick are like very strange, but he's doing okay. I'm gonna go for my walk. The kids are at school. They're all doing well. Um, Abby and her sickness, I don't know. She's, she's also like ping-ponging between like getting sick again, ma massive back pain, which screams kidney something but we haven't heard back from the urgent care which means the night the result was like I guess negative but wouldn't they want what did they say I need to go and read that again because today would have been the day that the culture comes back and it's like they only reach out to you I guess if it's negative that's what it is they'll reach out to, to you if it's negative been at this point she's been on the antibiotic for almost seven days which her pediatrician didn't want her to be on so I don't know it's kind of a weird situation so but she's feeling better she's at school so I guess that counts all right we're gonna go for a walk and then um, bring you through oh I do want to go after my scan I if I'm up for it I'm gonna want to shower after I do my scan I don't actually know what kind of scan it is but I usually have all that ultrasound goo all over me so I want to shower but I also want to go and find a pair of jeans because I'm really getting sick of my jogger pants I never thought I would say that but I just want to have like a nice pair of jeans to go out in if I like yesterday I wanted to wear a nice outfit to go to lunch with my friends but I literally only have jogger pants that I can fit into so I want to go to like old like it's called value village but it's goodwill and just buy a pair of like $10 jeans um, that fit me now and not worry about like the amount of money that I have to spend on it knowing I'm gonna lose more weight and be in a different size later on. I just don't wanna waste money. So I might do that this afternoon just before the kids get home from school. Um, but anyway, that's what we're gonna start doing today. So welcome. I just got done with my walk. Um, <laughs> now I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm going to go kind of stinky. I uh, put some perfume on. <laughs> um, try and cover up a little bit of it. I got pretty sweaty. Because <coughs> I ended up running one and a half miles. Sorry, I'm, I'm filming now from my cam my phone. Because um, my camera um, battery died. And as would have it, I have not one dead battery. I have one dead battery, two dead batteries, three dead batteries in my purse. I clearly haven't been doing a good job at keeping track of <laughs> things, so I don't have any batteries left. Um, but we head over to my scan really quick. I would really love a shower. Um, it felt really, really good to run today it's very strange for me for those of you who are runners maybe this is like a really weird thing for me to say to you because like you just run but I've never been a runner like even in PE I absolutely hated it in um, middle school high school absolutely hated running never had the cardio lung capacity to actually run <coughs> or body like you know could couldn't do it but today and like the recent times that I've been running um, it's, it's very strange because it's, it's like my body is just doing it. Like I, I, it's so foreign to me and like I have music on and like my feet aren't like, they're just going and I'm like, this is very strange and my legs don't hurt. They're just, they're just moving. It's like all on their own. It's like, I'm a puppet and someone else is guiding me and 
and I even think to myself, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll stop when like my lung capacity is like done, my cardio is burned out or whatever. And I just keep going. It is the strangest thing. Usually the only thing that kind of catches me a little bit is like there's little inclines um, on part of the trail and that kind of gets me a little bit, but I just kind of slow my pace down. I'm not, I'm not running, running. Like I'm doing like the quick job, you know, um, cause that's what I can do, but it, it's just, it's still a strange feeling to just be able to keep going. I mean, I can like blow my nose and I'm still going and I can like, it's, it's very strange change my music on my watch and I'm still going, I'm still going. I don't know. I, I really honestly don't know. And I only stopped running after a mile and a half because I needed to go. <laughs> I needed to leave. Um, it, it just feels so good. I don't, it's just so foreign to me. Um, my friend was with me for the first two miles of my walk and we were having a fun time and getting caught up. Um, she went on a little trip to see her son anyway, and then she started to not feel well. So we had stopped for a bit, let her kind of try, try and see if she could feel better. And she's like, I just need to go home. So I got her into her car and calmed down just a bit. Her heart was racing. So anyway, got her sent off home and I just started running. It was very strange because I wasn't in the mood to run when I got to the park. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna do a leisurely walk and listen to a podcast. And then I was talking to my friend and wasn't in it to like run today. And then I just turned on music and it just, it just happened. And it, I don't know why it's such a foreign, I mean, it is foreign. I've never, I've never f felt good running. Never say never, I guess. I never thought I would be, I'm not a runner by any means. And you know, I can walk. So I ended up walking like four miles, maybe four and a half miles. I bet it was four and a half miles. So not the best, but I do have to get to this scan. Now I'm late because this light. All right, I just got done, but you guys look how red these trees are. Look at it compared to the green, so red. Okay, just got done and, uh, oh, he's noisy. Just had, I didn't realize I was done with the scan because I was talking to the technicians. I've gotten kind of, to become good friends with these technicians. One of them has even come to my house to have me re-sign some of the paperwork. Um, so we have a lot of conversations with, I have a lot of conversations with them. Um, two of them love going to Hawaii. So we always talk about Hawaii and our future plans and where do we stay. One of them has really helped me out um, in the past on like when we went to the big island, she was like a huge help to help me plan that because it's like that was her favorite island at the time but anyway so I've become good friends with them and today I didn't realize that my scan was over when um I think she just as part of the scan she needed to know my BMI which actually they haven't ever asked before but I think they needed um like other requirements from I think they were getting sending these results to China that's all I, I don't ever know like the details of all the things that they have to report with, but so I've never actually had to tell them my BMI. I usually just tell them my age. So we got talking about, um, BMI and, and weight loss. Cause they recognize these technicians recognize the weight that I've lost. Cause I've been coming here for so long. And she's like, I never want to like, like call it out like that for you she's like I never wanted to like bring it up because like weight is a sensitive issue but she's like you look fantastic <laughs> she's like how are you doing it so we were talking about that and this technician is an avid marathon runner and she did the half marathon in Maui after the fires and had to like reroute her marathon because you can't come down into Lahaina where the marathon usually ends they run from Kahului over to Lahaina normally. And so I talked to her about that beforehand and then afterward because it's such a, she said it was very hard to be there after the fires. Anyway, so I know she's a runner. Sorry, my chapstick's in my <laughs> bra. And um, so I know she's a runner. And so I, I told her in this conversation, like, you know, that I, I've been walking and losing weight and I'm excited and 
And, uh, and I said, and you will understand this. Um, I said, I just started running like last week and it's just weird how my body like works in a different way. I had like a half hour conversation and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're done. You can go home. I just was so like enjoying this conversation with you because it's so interesting to hear um, someone's take on running when they haven't really been a runner before because she loves it, um, but hasn't really like run into people who start running and actually enjoy it. So that was a really fun conversation to have with her and just a, a fun conversation. And then we ended up... Um, going out and talking to another technician and, and, uh, it was just really, really fun. Um, but they all said like, yeah, we didn't want to bring up the fact that we, you look amazing. Um, because your personal life is none of our business. Um, which I, it's very respectful. They're very respectful, but it was nice to like have an actual personal conversation with these people that I've known for years and years. Um, and so it was just fun. So it's really late now. Um, it's two 15. <laughs> I need to go and eat. Um, and the kids, Ashley will be home from school any minute. I need her to do homework before, um, she has cheer tonight. She has more time to get her homework done, but I don't think I'm going to go shopping for jeans today because I need to shower. <laughs> I'm freezing cold. All right. I have showered, but I didn't really want to get ready, but this one, yep, yeah. thank you for showing yourself for driving. Um, want, where do you want to go, Ash? Ulta. Peek your, peek your head in. We're going to Ulta. What are we looking for again at the Ulta? Ulta Mini Brands collab. Yeah. Oh, you know Elf and With Stanley Ulta. just had a collab? What? Elf and Stanley. I looked all night for those. There's. You they're want so, one? Yes. They're so cute. It's it's a collab with Stanley's. This is a fake Stanley. But it has a mini Stanley cup that goes on the side of your handle. And you can put your elf lip oil, lip oil, oil oh, those in it. things? I thought you wanted the actual Stanley. The no, Stanley's no, no. I don't. Ugly. Yeah, I don't care about the Stanley. 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 Sorry. I just want the little lip yeah. oil holder. It's really cute. I have so cute. many. And it like leaks so you can't put it in your bag. Mine doesn't leak. Mine it's fine. Does. But I'll just um, like open it because like it's a fidget. So I they're all sold it. out at Target's like all over, the all over this entire area. And <coughs> they only sell for $6 at Target. But people are selling them on Etsy Don't for, go and Target. Poshmark for $25 plus shipping. Are you gonna eye off there? And I'm like, wow. People just bought them all up. And they are selling it them is off. A it is a way to go. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Yeah. But she's going to go look for that. And then I thought I would look either at Marshall's for some jeans because it's right next door to Ulta. And then if we have time, either before I take her to Cheer. I'm not going to take her to Cheer. I'm taking her to her friend's house for her mom to take her to Cheer. And then um, I might run down to Value Village to look for jeans so try to like get a little rest in while this one was pestering me to go so that we could time it for a drop off right before cheer mm -hmm. so all right came in quick did some damage in that section right there the five for ten correct yes we'll show you in the car you don't need to close <laughs> And oh, are we going in the car or Marshalls? Uh, we can put that in the car. We'll show you in a second what we got, but they did not have the mini brands. No, they're so, still out of stock. Uh, our car is over here. Um, yeah, no mini brands, but we Let me just got go a online. few. Maybe we should. Do they watch enough to like see what that gift is? Your friends? I wouldn't because I just. Yeah, maybe we won't show you. Just know that there's cute little gifts. I'm showing them right now. And then I can show them the elf. No, because we're gonna go into Marshalls. But it'll show me the, get the elf ones out for me. Can I? Um, I can I have the other one? Yes. So we just got these cute little elf. I wanted do. to test these ones. Well, I'll I bring it with one. me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I, um, I, um, I got one for me to test it. They're only four dollars. But then I was a dollar away from being able to use my coupon so basically this one was free the second one was free 
So I was gonna grab the strawberry. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. And we got Christmas presents done. All we need to do is add like a little two little snack, bucket. like a little candy or something. And, I should uh, probably not put this on, just because the. Why? Oh, because she has a canker. Yeah, I wouldn't. All right, we're gonna head into Marshalls. You're kind of ridiculous. It's probably a no, but you had fun. You got your joy out of it. Yeah. All right, guess what, folks? Ignore my really dirty shirt. I didn't realize how dirty it was, and ignore the fact that I had a really big bulky. This is how big my clothes are on me, you guys. <laughs> I have a tank up underneath this, and it's like there's Ashley underneath my door. But check it out. I haven't worn this size in, I don't even know how long. So, that is a win. Where's my thumb? Dogs are not gonna be. All right, Dogs. we did really, really good at- We weren't gonna spend- Marshall's. I wanted to get something. She did, but we are now buying, or making lists but it's for like, Christmas. It's, you Show what you have in your hand. Right. Everyone has liked these. They're, so I got another package of them. Show them. They're the Ollie, um, Ollie. Probi Ollie probiotics. probiotics. Yep. They just help. They just make you. They help your gut flora. I just like the taste. Jason loves them. I just like the taste. Like he loves that it's like helping that. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. And Abby probably needs to start taking them too because of all her antibiotics. Yeah. And then because this is cheaper here than it is at Target. I've I think it's out. like $13.99 at Target. And this it was $10 here. So we got some of that to help wash your face. Um, I needed just a few more face wipes. I always get those. And then I guess we are showing your friends things. I got them. Like little pink so scrunchies. So we, we kind of worked the deal it was five for ten so we have two scrunchies in this one for the fifth item little makeup wipes. and then they each get a makeup wipe and then some bath salt and then they each salt get a, a bath tea. salt i thought that was really cute and then it's we'll like throw a little in, boo basket but it's a christmas basket yeah it's a christmas i don't basket. yeah we'll just throw in a like a little treat or yeah. something when we actually wrap it up yeah. and then of course i got my jeans and i don't even I don't even know the last time I bought a pair of jeans. It's been years. I need to go. And I definitely haven't gone down a size and bought a new pair of jeans in, I don't even know. I don't even know. We're talking years. So, mm -hmm. yes, I was hoping to buy jeans at <coughs> Goodwill for $10, but these ones were 20 So, you know what? And they're really cute. They fit well. They make me feel good. And they're not joggers. Oh, you're <laughs> she seat belted into my car. And now we are gonna drive across cookie, the parking lot cookie, cookie. to go to Crumble Cookie because one of you, sweet Minnie, sent us a free crumble cookie code. So I just don't want to have to walk across the busy street. So we are gonna drive over to Crumble and we are getting one cookie. Do you understand? One. One. Exactly. And I want the Reese's Pieces peanut butter. Oop, Abby was. Oh, Abby. Or Chelsea. Or Chelsea. Someone the high school is calling. Hang on. Okay. We have two. secured two cookies. And no, I will not be eating very much. I will be. I think probably only one bite with my cookie after I have dinner, after I drop her off. Um, I hope I'm going to have... I think I'm gonna have the garlic pasta with just no pasta, just chicken and veggies. You wanna show what ones we got? That's yours. It looks so undercooked. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it looks it good. We got the Reese's peanut butter. The one up there the on display looked burnt. Yeah, it, it looked burnt. And then and the one that you got free was a just milk a chocolate one. chip. They were almost up. You can have one bite. Let me have one bite of this one. This one's always good. Yeah, chocolate chip is always good. Mm -hmm.